Your party of adventurers make a solemn decision to travel across the Sea of Anchor to seek a fortune in a land of peril and wonder. A land both new and ancient, civilized and yet savage, a land called Arkelund. And also it's a name of the game in my favorite style of might and magic wizardy and probably even a Baldur's Gate. And friends, I must say, it's just a masterpiece. I was so impressed, it's definitely deserve your attention. So let's dive deeper. I don't want to focus a lot on character creation, but believe me, there will be plenty of different races, very unusual one. Each races will have plenty of different careers traits and skills. These skills will be also very different for each race and for each profession. But let's continue. And here we are on a beautiful shore after a shipwreck. Actually not a shipwreck, this time situation will be a little bit different. But look at this, it looks so beautiful. And this beacon on the mountain, oh, it's luring me so much. What we can do? We can read a journal. So far we have only one quest. But there will be factions and rumors. Hmm, not bad at all. What else we can do? We can do a rest and we can take a look at the map. Uh, not much so far, not much. Later the map will look good at all. Much better, I mean. And of course we can take a look at our characters. Look, all of them are naked, almost without any weapons. I mean, without any weapons at all. My Minotaur, human, shaman and some kind of lizard wizard. I love to play this character. And skills for each character. You see, different skills will be more active. So, my Minotaur will be excellent in athletics and scouting. And good even in crafting and survival. I love it, completely love it. But let's go, let's explore this world. It looks not exactly beautiful, it looks a little bit deadly, empty. But I suppose it need to look so. Oh, we can interact with it. Crafting. Hmm. Let's try it. And we got an iron spike. Probably our first weapon. Yep. Now at least I have some kind of weapon. But that's not enough. Let's go. Pick up the stick. Actually, it's a club. A full scale club. And I already see some monsters on horizon. My human, you have no weapon at all. Probably you need to... No, he don't want to equip it. Oh. Oh. So that's how it works. You put it in backpack and then equip. Okay, fine by me. Let's go further. Some creatures. And if you have mythology, probably you will learn more information about this creature. And this time we meet some kind of fish people. Not people, fish creatures. And the first battle. Friends, let's go and see how combat will look like. Combat will be just... Oh, it will be so good. So, combat started. Yep, it remind me a Baldur's Gate a little. Our group, enemies, trons, everything very usual. Except all my party members are naked and almost don't have any weapon. Okay. But let's try to win it anyway. Wizard, excellent. Devastating. From the first strike, Wizard must have in party. 
my favorite kind of character. And he's some kind of barbarian. Hmm, not bad at all. Okay, and Shaman, what can you do? And Shaman can summon creatures. And probably heal my characters later. But so far I summon a deadly poisoned spider. Those creatures will help you a lot at the beginning, because all of your party members are naked. And as you can see, they are not very powerful at all. Okay, let's go over here and cast another spell. The combat is almost won. But not yet, not yet, my friends. Victory, sweet victory. So we defeated four fish creatures, gain their skills and experience. But again, total experience and each character gain 32. Excellent, let's take it all. How do you like it? Isn't it amazing? And take a look, they remain here on the shore, I mean where fight take place. Oh, deadly creatures, now they gone. Let's continue our adventure and something tell me there will be something over here. And by the way, swimming in this game is so deadly, I try it multiple times and almost all times I fail to exit water and just drown. Skeleton, boots, bow, oh, such a huge treasure. Supplies, torches, lockpick, let's take it all. Thank you, unlucky adventurer. You give me really huge treasures. And you see, there will be plants. I can collect this one, but there will be plants that you will be able to collect. And there will be alchemy skill. Let's go and equip a little. Boots not equipable by my minotaur. Why? That's weird. Equip? No. Hmm, maybe human? No, no. That's interesting, but okay. That is not very convenient actually. Where you need to put it in backpack and then equip. Why can I just do something like this? I don't know, but okay, let's go further. This beacon on the mountain. Oh, beacon, I'm coming. And friends, there will be a place over here, a very interesting place, just, just in the foot of this huge mountain, but it protected by powerful fish creatures, so we will cheat a little, we will go over here. You see, there will be a treasure chest and we already have some lockpicks, but in this pack there will be a very huge fish creature. Huge mean deadly for my naked party. Hmm, Hunter find a suitable place for rest. And something interesting, let's take a look. It's a diary, diary. And the new quest, a new quest about fabled treasures. Oh my god, this game is so good. And by the way, can I rest here? No, cause enemy is too close. And I'm afraid to start a fight with those fish people, so we will just go further. Can I pick it up? No. Not allowed to do so. Look at this world. The music, atmosphere, wind, rain, drops, everything. It's so amazing. But sadly, the game is not finished yet. 
There is only chapter 1, as far as I understand it. But it's already very promising, very. So, probably we will need to swim a little. Let's try to swim this part of the... Oh, I can just walk by. Hmm, not bad. Not bad at all. And what do we have here? A plan? Can I jump? It seems no. And it seems there are nothing I can do to get this plan. I want to find different kind of monsters. Oh no! Fish peoples! A huge amount! But this and you see entrance! But combat is not avoidable this time. Okay, let's try and let's give them a fight. Mages need to rest to restore mana. Without mana they are almost nothing. You see, this is a huge fish. No, don't do it. I need to summon plenty of spiders. Okay. How do you like this game? Because I completely amazed by it. Can I do something? No, probably I need some distance. Very good job, Minotaur, you just miss the creature. And you miss it also. I don't like it. Okay, mage, maybe you can change the situation. Very powerful magic, very deadly. My mage is out. So, if I manage to win, we will find out. Is he dead completely or he is just stunned? For duration of combat and when combat will be over, he will become conscious again or something like this. It's a good thing, we will find it out very soon. Oh, a big fish is dead. A few little ones left. Human hunter is not good at all. Those summoned creatures are much more powerful. And you see they apply poison. So no more mana to summon more spiders. Ok. Let's just use the one we have. Excellent. The tide of the combat thrown to my side. And this is some kind of teleportation escape spell. Not very useful, probably in some situation will be very useful, but not in this one. Ok, and again, oh, so you are alpha, <laughs> level 2 creature. Good, I also gain experience, some skills, let's take it all, and yep, my mage is alive and feel ok, with a little exception, he have only one health point left, and no willpower, probably it's a magic attribute, mana. Those creatures look amazing, but what has they will protect him? Entrance to this temple? Friends, let's stop right here, cause you know, it's only a first chapter. And I want to enjoy this game, when it will be fully released. I will make a complete guide with everything, every treasure. Everything I will able to find. And I will find it all, believe me. And right now, I want to hear your opinion about everything that you saw today so far, so drop me a comment. With that said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Meet you there!